Hello, welcome back to Afterlife, episode 3. Oh man, it's great to be back on the server. Actually, I've actually been on here a while, but it's it's good to be back recording. If you haven't catched the last episode, what are you doing here? Go, go watch it, like, honestly, I'm just kidding. But anyways, yeah, we built this potion cave and a big custom tree to accompany it. Also, by the way, I've turned off my texture pack, and I decided just to turn on Better Leaves by Jermsey Boy, and I think it's really cool. I'm gonna change some of the leaf textures, like, I don't know, if, I don't know about yellow birch leaves. We'll have to see about that one. As far as stock in the shop goes, oh man, uh, I've been hard at work, but, but it's still not stocked, as you can see. I've got these little bits done, and yeah, you can see, but I haven't stocked it. It takes a long time, but it's a work in progress. Just gonna take a little while. Uh, no big deal. And off camera, again, I have been grinding for them diamonds a lot. And as you can see, I'm fully geared with diamond armor. And I've got some shulker boxes from All OJ shop. And yeah, it's really great now that we actually look cool in our awesome diamond armor. Now that all the potion shop stuff is out of the way, I think we're going to head off to the winter village and have a lot of fun there. Also, also, check out this nether highway tunnel thing that... Mario has been working on, oh man, wow, this is really, really intricate. Why don't we take a ride through here? <laughs> I think he finished this in like two days. It must have been really crazy for him. If you haven't checked out Square Mario or any of the other guys on Afterlife, seriously, what are you doing? Go check their channels out. They're also great content creators. Anyways, we are here in the Winter Village, and it's not really a village yet, and that's what I plan to fix today. I mean, kind of, I'm only building one thing, but yeah, you can see there's a couple things coming up, like a gigantic mountain or a statue or something crazy like that, and a little snow globe, and um, whatever that is, that's, it's cool. <laughs> But before we do any other buildings or structures, we got to meet up with Square Mario and fix the thing that is missing right above my head. Okay guys, so we're here by the Winter Village with Ash, and what are we doing right now, Ash? We're about to build an epic Christmas tree right here. Hey guys, so this is the center of the village, I guess. It's gonna be the main focal point. We got all the paths branching out from it. We have a neat little space laid out by Blonde skunk. Uh, these are most of the materials we're gonna be using. So mainly spruce, cause you know pine trees. Or this is our ornament chest. Probably gonna be hanging some wool, some clay, anything colorful. Uh, then we got some other wood stuff here. So yeah. Anything else you wanna add on? No, that's about it. We're gonna jump into a time lapse and build this Christmas tree, and we plan to go pretty big. Yeah. So it's gonna pretty much tower over the rest of the village um yeah it's it's got to be big enough to support all the presents yeah maybe not as tall as that thing over there but you know yeah, somewhat that's large a little bit that's <laughs> a little bit grand all right guys go check out square mario or just mario for short he's a super cool guy super fun to talk to and uh yeah just enjoy this i got some new music it's not christmasy but yeah i got some new music for this time lapse so anyways i'm just gonna let this play out and you guys can just enjoy the rest of this christmas tree building
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. That took way, way too long. Uh, just a lot of minor tweaks. Uh, what do you gotta say, Mario? Yeah, I mean, it was probably one of the longer time lapses I've ever done. It's upwards of two hours, but I think it was well worth it. Um, honestly, getting the shape of everything, getting these droopy leaves. Um, took quite a bit of time, but I think uh, the end product is something very nice here. Definitely, we're still like tweaking it here and there. And by the way, uh, on my end, these leaves are going to look a little different on the time lapse, but yeah. Yeah, so just diving in a little bit, you guys can probably see all these colorful ornaments. We got wool, clay, um, breaking up the textures, and then we also got uh, a couple bells because these are uncraftable. You have to get them from villages, so we only have um, three of them. But nice hanging lanterns as well, lighting everything up. And of course, the very majestic golden star at the top. Yeah, and we got like little details like pine cones. I, I really think this tree turned out super cool. Maybe, maybe we weren't as confident at the start, but yeah, this, this turned out super cool. Yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of cleanup work, like getting rid of these ugly trees that we planted. All right, well, I'm going to get on to the rest of my episode. I'll see you later, Square Mario. Yeah. Or Mario. Thank you for hanging out. We did a very good job, so, yeah. See ya. I know I've already said this, but you guys need to check out Mario. I mean, just look at his house. It's so crazy in comparison to mine. And speaking of Mario, we need to go on to his shop, his little trailer, I don't know, RV thing. And so, yeah, we're going to get ice we're just gonna get regular old ice you know why because we are gonna build a frozen lake oh and you know while we're here i guess we should get uh some snow where's snow snow yeah there we go one diamond for two stacks right one diamond for two stacks and yeah there we go anyways we need to head off to the winter village again and i have a cool build idea to go along with this frozen lake Oh yeah, look at that beautiful tree. Oh man, I love this tree. Oh, what the heck? I love this tree. It's just oh, so cool. I like the little curve. I, I, originally, I didn't like it, but now I love it. Oh yeah. Uh, anyways, let's build this frozen lake. And you know, I was thinking we kind of already have an area, but I want to build it right over in here. I want to build it over here because it's right next to the forest, and uh, I think we can extend the path out here a little more, and we could just build it right in this area. I love this spot. Anyways, when we extend this path out, I think I want to build a little structure right here. And I have a little bit of an idea for this, but yeah, we're just going to kind of freestyle this a little bit. Freestyle it, you know, just build a little structure by a frozen lake. That's the idea. Alright, there we go with the base ship of the house. It's pretty tiny, pretty tiny, but we're going to have a little bit of fun building this. And I've also <laughs> built up the frozen lake, mostly. And I actually recorded a bunch of clips, but I wasn't in full screen, so you couldn't see the bottom where my hotbar was. That was kind of annoying. Anyways, I'm out of ice, so I'm going to have to go pop back into the main village area, and we are going to have to buy more ice from Mario. Well, it turns out Mario's shop is not stocked, but that's okay. I'm just going to pay one diamond and buy one and a half stacks. I think that should be enough. If it's not, uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do, like start breaking... <laughs> Start bringing ice with my axe because I don't have silk touch. Oh, well, we'll just see if this is enough. Well, looks like I need more um, I'll be here a little bit. This may take a long time All right, all the ice is finished placing in and what I'm doing right now is I'm just Putting in all these little piles of snow because it because you know snow falls down here And then they just push it to the side the owners of this which is me Yeah, so they're just pushing it off to the side and then you know making the frozen lake where people can go ice skating by the way, there's going to be fencing around this, just not yet. Uh, so this is going to be a safe ice skating rink. Um, don't worry. Yeah, clearly this is a safe ice skating rink. You can tell by all the zombies slain. Alright, beautiful. Let's give our uh, ice skating rink or boat skating rink a little bit of a test drive. Oh, this is fun, right? I, I don't even know. This is, this is cool, I think. It's kind of fun to just go around like this and be all insane. Uh, I don't even know. Alright, I think it's time we can finally build up this house, and I've gathered materials, of course, looks good, and I want to start out with some spruce logs, pretty simple. 
All right, and just like this, finishing up the last pillar, and kind of like this, you know, just the framework, and I think we can bring in, like, some sideways facing ones, like this, yeah, like that, and we can do the same on this side, and we're gonna bring up the walls, just like this, using this pattern right here, just with a little bit of anisite and some cobblestone mixed in, and I think that looks pretty cool. All right, guys, now comes the hardest part of this the roof i have somewhat of an idea in my head but yeah we're just gonna hop into a time lapse just to show this off uh in case i mess up it won't really show up on the time lapse Alright guys, welcome back from the time lapse, and the house is looking fantastic in my opinion. My favorite aspect though is this roof, it just like comes down and back up. I love that effect, it's really nice. Yeah, and this looks great and all, but I think we are missing something. Yeah, the interior. Alright, so we're gonna separate this whole interior into like two sections, or technically three because upstairs, but right over here we are going to have you know the family area where they can you know uh make have a kitchen and whatever and then right in here is where customers can come in and they can sign up to go boat skating yes not ice skating boat skating oh and of course the boat skating is going to be free because well i mean it's really simple it's just a, a lake of ice with a boat no no one would go on this ice skating boat skating rink if it were uh costly all right, so as I said, I want to make a little kitchen in here, and uh, guess who does not have any bricks, or stone bricks, or even stone? Me, so I actually just need to go back through into the main area and just grab a bunch of materials. All right, I got some materials back from our main base, and I think we can go ahead and build up a little chimney here. Okay, this design is pretty cool. I think uh, it looks nice. We need to go to the outside, though, and make sure that looks just as cool. Uh, just like this, and I think we got ourselves a little chimney. And then, of course, we need some uh, smoke coming out of this. So, I, actually, you know what? Okay, I don't want this to get too boring. So, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this area, and then I'll catch you guys back. Okay, and finally, this is done. Wow, this took a lot longer than I expected. But it looks kind of cool. We got our fireplace, as we know. A little furnace connecting into there. Some shelves. Currently nothing on them except a few potted plants. And then over here I was thinking like uh, a bin of flour or something or another. I don't know. It kind of looks like that, but it's kind of the best we can do. And of course some bushes and a nice rug to tie it all together. And I just went ahead and finished this. So we got a little area for the kid, maybe, that they have. And then we got... A place for the adults and a little chair thing I don't even know but yeah pretty basic and now he only got one last spot in the interior to do but I think I'm done with interiors for now but you know it's not over the video cuz guess who wants to transform this ice lake me well I mean the I'm the only one making this video so yes I want to make this uh, lake a little more realistic so I went and bought more ice uh, where is it where is it don't okay there it is there's more ice from Mario's shop, and yeah, we're gonna just finish off decorating this little bit in a time lapse. And I might just finish the interior off as well, so, cause, I mean, interiors are kinda boring to watch. But anyways, let's just finish this frozen lake.
Alright, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse, and look at this little lake, you can't actually look in here, uh, but you can kind of see, the stuff under the lake is a minor detail, by the way, all the packed ice is so, when I place the glowstone down there, it would melt it, and I think it looks kind of neat. Yeah, but also, not only the lake, I went ahead and decorated the little inside of this area, and I really should use two different flowers, but yeah, we got the front desk, be like, hey, I'm gonna go boat skating and then you grab your boat and you go ahead and ride oops you go ahead and ride like this and it's fun and you have a great time <laughs> but anyways the video is getting pretty long I'm gonna actually have to end it here and I did a little bit of a longer video today just because I don't know Christmas special I guess and that tree really actually took a long time and so I had to make the time lapse long and everything long but anyways I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Afterlife and this Christmas special, and I will see you all in the next one. See you later. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. I really appreciate you sticking around to the entire 16 minutes. Or it's actually more like 16 and a half minutes, but anyways, I just hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you're watching this before the holidays, I hope you have a great holiday, and I'll see you later.